what about the balance between overdoing it but not doing it enough? How do you work through that? Yeah, look, we're humans too, right? We know how we like to be communicated. And I'm sure we've all received those messages where you just frown and put your phone back down. Being able to connect and understanding your customer, as I said, is super important. So finding stuff that matters to them and connecting on that level, that's how you'll get the bite. Is it important to perhaps speak to the customer prior to those messages going out and get a feel as to, to, to how they how they would feel about getting those messages and getting them on a regular basis? Potentially so, but it's more about humanizing it. So if you were doing a service, we we'll say you're doing your car mark, and we noticed that you had a small issue that might flare up down the road, before your next service, I might just ping you a message going, hey Mark, remember that small thing we mentioned last time? We should probably take care of that before it becomes big and hairy. So that gives us the opportunity now to move to the next question, which is an obvious question, and it's a broad brush question. But how do you develop relationships with customers? What are some of the keys? 